Our Holy Father, Pope Francis, gave us a beautiful gift in his exhortation, the joy of the gospel. Let me read the first couple of lines. The joy of the gospel fills the hearts and lives of all who encounter Jesus. Those who accept his offer of salvation are set free from sin, sorrow, inner emptiness, and loneliness. With Christ, joy is constantly born anew. Well, we're just a few days from Christmas and we'll soon be singing joy to the world, the Lord is come, Isaac Watts' great carol. It's interesting to note in the gospel for the fourth Sunday of Advent, Mary, herself pregnant with Jesus, hears her cousin Elizabeth is also pregnant in her old age and Mary goes to be with her. A wonderful outpouring of, of caring on the part of Mary for an older relative. And of course, when she gets there with Elizabeth, Elizabeth says, the child in my womb leapt for joy. John the Baptist in Elizabeth's womb sensed the nearness of Jesus carrying, carried by Mary. And so Jesus, even at that moment before he was born, was bringing joy to others, joy to the world. Christmas is the time for us to remember the reasons for joy in our lives, and especially during this Jubilee year of mercy, to recall, as Pope Francis reminds us, that our God is a God filled with mercy and compassion. And Jesus is truly mercy made flesh. May this last week of Advent and the celebration of Christmas be a time for renewed faith, fresh hope, and wonderful joy for all of us.